Hi, in this video, I'm going to show you how to use a profile attribute to dynamically change the domain at our views data source. When user create a domain at our view and test it, they can deliver this domain at our view to their users. There are different users will have different database. The database structure are the same, but, are, but the content are different. Normally, what user can do is to go to the data source that feed the domain view. Uh, for instance, in this case, it's this data, uh, data connection. You can go there and change the host name in this Currently, we are pointing to the uh, local database. They can point to their user database, whatever the IP address <coughs> or the uh, proxy uh, host name. They, they can do it here. And then their different user will get different data. But what I'm going to show you is to, instead of hard code that value in there, I want to use the profile attribute. So let's first run this report just to make sure. So let me show you domain pointing to this data source. So this is the data source it's using, okay. which is the own, just list the user attribute. Okay. And we have a view using this domain to basically list the username and full name. In this case, you can see super user and super user full name is super user by default. So what we would like to do is to dynamically point into two different repository database. In our case, I already have another two repository database set up. One is, um, is a virtual machine 100, 125. You can see the super user full name actually have this 125 domain in it. Also, I have another repository database, 126, and the full name is 126. So let's use the profile attribute to point to these two databases and to see what we will get. Okay. So first of all, what we need to do is to use the profile attribute format. And uh, this information is in Jasper Report Server Administrator Guide, section 2.4. OK, so this is the online copy of it. And you can access this copy from this IP address. OK, so this is the one. So the document paper copy is this 2.4, section 2.4.5 actually lists the attribute format. So let's go to set value. To the profile attribute, we have a profile attribute defined at the server level. The name is host name and the value actually point to 125 instance. So let's use this value. So the form is this bracket attribute. The name is the host name. Okay, so let's see. Since we already set this up, let's test it, make sure it's working. Okay, connection passed. Let's save this one back to the original data source. So since this is an ad hoc view, we had a previous run, we need to clear the cache. Otherwise, we will never make the uh, second call to the database. Instead, we are using the cache value until either the uh, session is expired or the, the server restarted or is past the age. I think by default is 90 minutes. But anyway, since we clear the cache, we change to the data source host name, now run the view. We point to 125. 
So hopefully we can see, uh -huh. so here, Cabo 125, okay? So now let's change the view data source to point to 126. So let's make the change here, change to 126 server instance, click on OK and don't forget to save it. All right, now the value is saved. And then before you run it, remember to clear the cache. Okay, now we can run this report again. Let's go back there, run again. Now it point to 126. So this is one way user can dynamically change the ad hoc domain ad hoc view data source without having to restart the server. Also, if you read the document, Jasper for Server Admin Guide, I suggest you to read the entire section 2.4 because there are a couple of ways to set the attribute. You can set the attribute at the server level. Also, you can set the attribute at organization level or individual user level. And here I actually explain all the uh options you have also you can set the hierarchy based on whatever you want to pick it up so this is all i want to show you in this video and uh, enjoy using our product and give a try thank you